Horses um, are thought to act as a mirror to the emotions of human beings and clients in particular can utilise the way that the horse reflects their emotions to come to a deeper understanding of how they are, how they present themselves to the world and use that to work with um, their, their issues and what, what, how they would like to, to change the way they interact with the horse in the first instant and from learning through that how they interact with other human beings. I'm Emma Leckie. I'm an equine facilitated psychotherapist and work near Brackley with my herd of naturally kept horses. I tell people that I, I work with horses to facilitate psychotherapy. Um, on many an occasion they will respond by saying, oh, so you're a horse whisperer. Um, and I have to explain quite clearly that I'm working with horses to help human beings. It's very important for the herd that they're in touch with each other's emotions in order to pick up on anxiety or relaxation or calmness or um, the threat of a predator. Hundreds and thousands of years of domestication have uh, allowed horses to accept us as a member of that herd and pick up on our emotions in the same way that they pick up on their own. The neuroscience behind it suggests quite clearly that the limbic system of horses um, is a similar size and a similar, um, works in a similar way to human beings and that's the emotional side of the brain. I um, work with young people uh, suffering from anxiety, ADHD, anger issues and predominantly relationship issues. Horses in my experience are incredibly good at working with young people, particularly um, to enable them to regulate their emotions and communicate with their peers and with adults on a calmer and more reasonable level. My name is April Priestley and I use the services of the Banbury Young Homeless Project. I um, recently visited Emma, who's also my counsellor, and um, I did some horse therapy over at her farm and gained a lot of experience and um, it was sort of like a holiday for me. But there was this one particular horse who took a shine to me and his name was Dave. I felt as if I could be myself. Because usually when you're too anxious, you don't act like yourself. So with Dave, I could tell him anything. I, I know that Dave was listening to me. Because he wasn't trying to get away from me or push me over. Animals do read people's emotions. And if you're not happy, they won't be happy. If you're not relaxed or if you're anxious, it makes them anxious. So it's best to stay calm and take it slow. I'm definitely going to go back to see Emma and have another word with Dave.